We are transforming this window into a inside outside bar, bringing the kitchen outdoors and the outdoors inside the cabin. And finishing this part of our cabin to 100%. Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this week's video. The first step is to find where our studs are. We are going to be putting a very heavy quartz counter on the inside and the outside wall and we need to make sure it's going to be super sturdy with these brackets. These things can hold I think 500 pounds and we're putting three or four on each counter so that will work but we need to make sure we hit the studs. So we've brought up one of our old videos to figure out where the studs are. I'm almost 100% that you find the middle of your window and then you do every 16 on center from there. I gotta say I love having video footage of everything. Whenever you forget something in your life, which is quite frequent with me, hate to admit it, I just go back, relive my life, Matches the photo, booyah! Center. For us, this is a dream project. We've been wanting to do this for so long. Many, many moons ago, Jasmine and I worked at a restaurant that had something very similar to this. So of course, we made our own custom one for the cabin and we've got all the materials and you better believe that this weather is not gonna stop us from enjoying a delicious meal right here. We just need servers. <laughs> I can serve you. These are extremely strong structural screws. Torx head, love to see it. It just says something. <laughs> Structure. Rugged structural screws. We will be painting them though. It's just gonna be so much stronger with these. Don't want to see the level, girl. Not oh, your no, new hairdo. You. Chris, I got her hair done. Something I wasn't planning on acknowledging. Why? <laughs> Make her feel awkward. Mm -hmm. Love you pack, thank you. Better move if you wanna go. Turn the heads cause I'm on a roll. Strong. Wow, that's like super strong. Five more. Do it if you're gonna do it. I turn Perfection. it up and turn Alright, we've got heavy duty brackets going up and already they are going very smooth. Don't wanna jinx it, but they're looking very strong. I'm stoked. It's counter time. Oh. Yeah, fly. What's going on? What is going on? Oh, oh it's, it's the, the GoPro. GoPro. It's all of you, Mess and I saw. Oh my, God. my way. How much? My way. Because the trim, yep, yeah, and trim goes in there. Holy camoli. It's so nice. Mm hmm. Come here right now. You want to come, Izzy? Stand where I'm standing. It actually looks like the counter is attached. It looks so cool. Whoa! I'm like, come on. That's so cool. Designer oh Crystal and Jazz. Counter is completely level. We've put the level on it. It looks perfection. A okay. But how the window slides, there's a rail and it's perfectly in line on the left, but not on the right. It's not by much. I think we could just make the counter not perfectly level. And that would just entail us going to the hardware store and getting little sheets of metal and making shims to put it up, which I kind of like because, because then there's no holes in the bottom of the brackets and then the caulking and everything won't all fall out and whatnot. Jumping ahead, are we? I know I'm jumping ahead, but... <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's cool. I just can't wait to like, wow. <laughs> I can't wait for summer. Yeah. Here she goes already. <laughs> to be fair, it was living in the garage since like January. So. A lot of you are probably wondering how this is gonna hold up outside and being this close to the window. It's outdoor grade. So they add something, some sort of chemical compound when they're making it to allow it to endure UV rays, cold, ice, frost, etc. So the counter will last a long time, especially with our Canadian weather. This dog misses her sister, don't you? We miss her too, Izzy. More on that later. If you're wondering why it's so quiet in here, because Bear is at the vet. Closing one eye help. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I feel as though that's where the top of the counter should go. Perfect timing. We have to hit the hardware store and the vet just called for Bella. Izzy, wanna go get your sister? Where's Bella? Where's Bella? 
Hi, it's Tammy calling from the Bridgewater Animal Hospital. Hello. Bella can go anytime now. We think she'd be more comfortable at home. Okay, yeah, we're on our way. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that call just made me laugh. Of course, Bella, right after surgery, she was wide awake. <laughs> The vet's like, yeah, she's wide awake looking at us and now she wants to see more. Oh, they're just such different dogs. When Izzy went in for surgery, she was out of it, even when we picked her up hours later. So looks like the vet wants to get rid of Bella. Bella is at the vet because there was three lumps on her. She is 10 years and seven months, so it is pretty normal. However, they had to do some tests on them. And also she was gonna go in for a cleaning since she was being put under anyways to remove those lumps. And when they went to do the x-rays on her teeth, they saw five rotted teeth and an abscess that was pussing. That poor dog. We had no idea. We often wondered why her breath smelled so much worse than Izzy's. Because her teeth do look really good. Because her teeth look amazing, but it was way back there, something the vet said that we probably wouldn't have been able to see. Two teeth just fell out on their own, and the other three she removed because the abscess had infected the other two teeth around it because it happened probably over a year ago. The classic Bella doesn't complain, doesn't do anything, gets put under, and probably is ready to go for a 10 mile walk. Literally. Oh yeah. I love that dog. She's the most weird animal. They're gonna be thankful in a couple days too. You okay, Bella? We missed you. Turns out Bella wasn't just barking. It's she wasn't able to just relax because there's so many dogs going by. So they said she'll probably relax more if she's just at home. She is out of it and had a lot of work done. Three lumps removed, five teeth removed. There was a lump on Bella's back that was a cyst that they removed. And they actually removed the sac, I guess is the word. So that way, hopefully it doesn't refill. And then on the front of her, she had like a fatty lump, but it wouldn't actually, like the root of it went like fairly deep into her neck. So they removed all of that. And then there was a nodule on her ear that they fully removed. And that's the one they were worried about, right? Mm -hmm. But they tested it. They tested it and all three lumps are good. Tooth fairy's coming. How are you feeling? A little different? I never thought you would be the more energetic dog, Izzy. Thank you all so, so much from the bottom of our hearts for supporting our first ever merch drop. You all showed up. I am speechless, I'm honestly. I'm blown away. And Thank you. We are so excited that you're so excited. We can't wait to see you in it. And because you all love the pack hats so much, we are gonna give away 10 pack hats to anyone who has ordered or who is going to order before December 16th. Yes, it is the last five days to order the pack gear and then it is gone forever. So head on over to vanwives.com or the link in the description. Oh, and we have 3XL now. We're learning lots. Thank you for your patience. We hear you. And Love you. we cannot wait to include even more sizes when we do this all again. Yes. Also, if you get your pack gear, please send us a photo or a video or something because I want to see it and I can't wait. Five more days. Love you all pack. Bye. Got the last piece of metal at the store in that small little town. Anywho, these are going to be our shims that we're gonna add on our bracket. That way it all meets up on the rail perfectly, like this one. I am a welder certified now. I just don't have the welder. I mean, I have the welder, I don't have the machine. Is that how it works? <laughs> yeah. Anyways, so I'm going to just cut these down and we'll probably just secure it with caulking because they have to be secured with caulking anyways to the counter. And I think we'll be a-okay. Hey, bada boom, bada bing. Boom! You know what's a great day? When you have a new renovator blade. <laughs> I was hoping that was gonna rhyme more. I am beyond excited to see both of these installed. Last bracket! Now let's hope the counter fits and the window will shut. All of the brackets are in. Let's do it. Wow. That's 
Very nice. That's really close. That's perfect. I hope it shuts. Does it open? The window brushes the crumbs off the table for you. Damn. That's my kind of eating. We got that perfect, by the way. That's insane. Nah! We have a problem. Uh -huh. We just celebrated oh, this it's one. It's oh, I found the culprit. Look under here. That. So, when you oh, I'm gonna fix it. Watch this. Before you shut it, move that up. Uh -huh. What just happened was, we got the window open seamlessly. It was exciting. And then a minute later, I went to go close it with the counter on, same deal, and it was getting stuck. And then I thought that it had something to do with, obviously, how high the counter is, which would not have been good. Jasmine turned the handle and a mechanism got pushed up and that way we could actually close it again. So when we close the window, we just have to make sure the handle is in the correct position. Perfect. Yeah, well, it, it had to work. Because you opened it. Because I it was shut and I opened it before. Right, that's why it made no sense. And that's how doors work. The <laughs> latches. So these are going directly on. Good? Yeah. Beauty. Let's get the pizza oven going. I bet you thought we were having pizza for dinner. Tricked ya! This wood-fired pizza oven is going to keep the caulking nice and warm. That way it dries. This is gonna pull it together. This one just had five teeth removed and she's trying to bite the cardboard boxes. I can't get over her. Well, that was easy. Three outdoor chairs. I love it. It's so nice. Everyone has their own window. I think it's about time. First Th meal. Thank you. <laughs> oh, wow. Mm -hmm. I can't believe we just did a custom window ourselves inside our own house. It is my favorite thing in the entire world. <laughs> I'm so happy. And we're having butter chicken. This is the best view ever. I love it so much. I can't wait to have friends across the table. I've got you. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't wait till mm. people are enjoying like the fire, playing games on the grass, dancing on the porch. I can see them over from the other window that completely opens over there. It's literally just a complete flow. This was a vision that we brought to life, hey? From day one, girl. I'm also so, so proud. Like you said that we did ourselves. I just feel like it would have been easy to hand off, but we just tackled it. Yeah. Oh, you got some dry hands. Uh-huh. You need the sun, girl. Mm hmm What's going on? <laughs> Just washing, you know? Thing you don't do. Hey. Hey. Thing you don't do. Type, type, type. I'm out of here. <laughs> command Z, command Z. I'm glad you all came inside. It's pretty chilly out there, eh? But there's one thing that I know a lot of you are saying, girls, Get that done. And it would make this window 10 times prettier. Should we do it? I'll let you finish your last bite. I'm ready. <laughs> Winter nights. It's like getting windows all over again. We did it. Where did I park my tractor? Oh right, over here. Let's see how it starts on this cold day. And that's where I left my mitts. Silly. Clem is cold. So am I. Oh. Keeping Clem happy? Right. Thank you, Clementine! I love you! Don't even have to.
to bend my back. I have tried numerous things on where to put those IPC totes. That is the closest we're gonna get them to the house this year. And I am so happy compared to last year. This is a dream. And if you're wondering why I'm not putting it on the deck, that's because they weigh around like 3,000 pounds. And I don't think we engineered our deck for that amount of weight. Today's winter day and project is brought to you by the glorious sunshine. We're breaking outside today and I'm in just a plaid and a long sleeve. Come on. So it was very important that we finish the trim on the windows in order to start the next project, which will finish off our kitchen completely. Do you hear that everyone? Jazz and Crystal are going to be finishing one room inside their cabin to 100%. This is a beautiful piece of maple ply. Not only are we making our very own backsplash DIY, because one, it's awesome and fun. Two, we're up for the challenge. And three, it's way more economical. But we're really pulling hard on our carpentry skills today. We've got the track saw out and we're starting with plywood. I'm really pumped up about this. I feel like our skills are slowly getting better and better and we're accumulating the right tools to get the job done. Like a track saw, who knew? They're just the best tool ever. pieces of plywood are up and you're probably wondering what are you gonna do with a plywood backsplash and I know it's probably looking quite funny right now but this is the base of what will be a waterproof easy to clean beautiful backsplash so you'll see what we're up to next first piece without a plug woohoo all right backsplash is done see you later everyone <laughs> kidding everyone we have a really cool product we are going to be using and I cannot wait to do it on this backsplash. Go, Crystal, go! Go, Crystal, go! Go, Crystal, go! <laughs> You're funny. Well, thank gosh you built the table, eh? <laughs> spinach dip! This is the best spinach dip of my life. It's hot. Are you a chip? Spinach dip person? Or a pita spinach dip person? Answer in the comments. All right, ready, set, prep. Micro cementing looks a lot different when you're around, eh? We're keeping it clean. Mm hmm The last time I did micro cement, I had a huge mess. And Crystal didn't even know until she got home. <laughs> for a minute, then you'll know that this is micro cement. It's like a liquid cement paint that dries and hardens and looks like cement. It's such an incredible product and it's really fun for people who are good at it, like Justin. <laughs> Definitely not my forte, but we are taking this backsplash to the next level. This beautiful plywood is getting a coat of micro cement and then we will sand her down and do it again. I will sand. And it's going to look so nice in here. I can't wait. It's about time we got a backsplash. It's not fun cleaning this tongue and groove wood when you're cooking. Sitting here watching Jazzy work her magic. Gotta trust the process. At first I was like, hmm, how is this gonna go together? And now it's just looking like one giant slab already. First layer of the backsplash is done and dried. 24 hours later. And we're standing. hour just slipped by of me removing all of that tape and cleaning that all up. I'm super, super happy with it. And I think it's ready for sealing. Let's do it.
Bella, give her belly rubs. I am. Look at that side. This is your dream spot. A counter and you get to look at the squirrels. You're my best friend. Counter surfer number one. Counter surfer number two. The best view in the house. Okay, now I just need some friends. Let's go, come over. That's all you. Hi everyone, thanks for sitting at the table with me today. Wow, we did it, Boog. I know. From little waitresses dreaming of having a window they were serving customers at to having it in their own house. Cheers, everyone. Hope you're having a good Sunday morning and we will see you all next Sunday for, is it the last ever video of 2024? 2023. Three, I mean, I don't know what year <laughs> I'm in. See you next week, Pack. See you next week, Pack. And thank you again for so much support with the merch. Woof, woof, woof. I need to stop Leave it, it to Bella. <laughs> this is the absolute best place to thank the sponsor of today's video, Squarespace. You can get a website up and running in just a few hours. Get started with one of their professional templates and customize it to meet your unique needs. To allow your brand, your idea, or your business to stand out online and on every device. You can have your own online store selling your services, your physical or digital products. You don't need any experience or prior knowledge to get started. Click the link in the description or head to squarespace.com forward slash Van Wives for 10% off your very first website or domain.